good recovery. That wasn't a good hand launch. <laughs> that was a good recovery though. <laughs> Gee, she's aerobatic. Look at her go. What size pack do you have in a what size prop? pack? Battery. Oh, it's, uh, it's just got a little 4S in it. Oh, yeah, cool. It's only a small 4S, so okay. It's only a uh, 850 milliamp. Yep. But with a 4S, really, yeah, you can put a 3S in it, but it doesn't fly as well. Yeah. Through the, the cowling. Through the cowl makes it whistle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a fun little airplane. Yeah, it looks nice. I'll get out of your way. No, it's alright. Well, Got some nice decals. Yeah, I love the little Mustang. Oh, the little scheme, yeah. I bought this off a, off a woman. Um, I bought this off a woman up in uh, uh, Manly. Um, she had about a hundred aeroplanes she flies herself. Oh really? Her husband doesn't fly and he said, you've got to sell some of these aeroplanes. Oh, and she God. said, oh, I don't really want to sell this one, but I've got to sell some so you can have it for a hundred bucks. So they're like, okay, so. That's cool. And that was uh, about five years ago. It's probably done four or five hundred flights since then. Yeah. I'm starting to look at a bit now too. <laughs> as long as you're getting enjoyment out of it. Oh, I get enjoyment out of all of them. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you have a favorite plane? Uh, probably the Tundra. The big tundra. Yep. It's got a lot of presence. Yeah. Big aeroplane, it looks good. Um, yeah, I, I, it varies. Yeah. Depends on what mood you're in, doesn't it? Yeah. And the day as well, even like having clouds in the sky, if you've got a, a brightly coloured aircraft, it makes visibility easier and your experience a bit better. It's easy to get disorientated. Yeah. Uh, whether it's turning right or left on a smaller aeroplane like this. Yeah. But I've got a few Mustangs. I've got a, a big one that I really should pull the gear in, but um, I got it for a couple of hundred bucks, but the, I think the kit was nearly a thousand dollars. It was a Hangar 9 Mustang. Okay. I've never flown it, so I've got that many projects. Yeah. Uh, but oh, this is a fun little aeroplane. But when I take the caravan away, we're going away with the caravan up north um, to Sawtell and uh, Port Macquarie and that yep. next Tuesday for a couple of weeks. And I'll take three planes with me, a glider, and I'll take this one, which I hang over the bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the Tundra, usually. Oh, look at this. Oh. Doesn't get much better than that. It's fun, isn't it? Unbelievable. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah. yeah, it looks a bit of a wreck now than what it was. It looks nice with a spinner on that on it. But... You don't see all that when you're up in the air anyway. No. That's it's lovely. It's got a little forest battery, which is a bugger to get out. Yeah. But I'm going to modify it. I'm going to cut it there and there so I can take it out and put a bigger battery in sort of flight longer yeah um, and put a bigger 4S in it because I love the Mustang I think it's, it's a beautiful shape isn't it yeah one of my favorite World War II warbirds yeah they're lovely yep totally I um yeah early early days I was always a big fan of the Mustang but then you know what since I've got into RC planes just you sort of get a, even further into the the interest in aviation and yeah. You do. And you just learn a bit more about other planes and you appreciate, you know, the early jets and, you know, it's just beautiful. Like, I've got a real love for that ME262. That's a very good looking plane. Really nice. Um, you know, and, and even yeah, thinking about, like, oh, how could I modify some of my own planes to, you know, like the, um, the that Lipish, putting in different things and experimenting. And, yeah, it's just unreal. Love it.